Hi everybody, I'm Gart Swanson and welcome to Seattle Refined. I'm coming to you from Puyallup from the State Fair. Let me tell you, as always, there's so much to see and do here, especially with the rodeo, the concerts, and of course, all the new rides like this one. We're on the Grand Wheel and we're 108 feet high. But when people come to the fair, they always talk about the food, right? And let me tell you something about this year. There are some exotic grub. Comes to travel around Western Washington! Oh! Let's face it, the rides at the fair are wild. There you go, alligator burger up. So alligator. Alligator. You're talking about a real alligator. Real alligator. Straight from Florida. Straight from somewhere like Florida, probably. All right, so yeah. I'm just gonna just take a bite of this baby. Uh -huh. And would you say this is uh, a big seller here? It is our best selling burger. Alligator, yeah. here we go. Not my favorite. Not your favorite, no. no. Here's your catch up. Back to the gamey stuff in a minute, including this python snake sausage. Right now, how about some deep fried butter? Blobs dropped into a fryer, sprinkled with cinnamon and sugar. Let me get this straight. This is deep fried butter. Deep fried butter. All right. Be very careful. Who came up with that brilliant very idea? Funny. I'm not sure. They do it in Texas and they do it up here. Oh Isn't my that God. the weirdest thing? Mm. <laughs> it needs a little butter, though. Yeah. <laughs> need a little butter. That's what somebody asked me if I could put butter Whoa. on top of it. I like it. If you don't have the heart for that, bacon everything is booming here. All right, so what's the deal? Explain yourself. So much bacon here. What's ba this? Bacon, bacon, bacon. This is fresh cut bacon, cut every morning, served with maple syrup, served mm -hmm. on a stick. Next one here, we've got waffle dip bacon. What we do is we dip it in funnel cake batter and then Ooh. serve that also with maple syrup. Oh, man. This is a big seller here. What it is, it's a bacon burger. There's so oh. much bacon in this, you actually can't call it a burger. It has to be called a sausage patty. It's served after it's soaked in bacon fat, served with uh, bacon, cheese on a bun. Look at that beast, dude. I'm gonna take a bite. We've been told it's one of the best burgers at the fair. And then, mm. for dessert, we've got your famous Bacon maple glazed donuts. You're kidding me. No, serious. Have some dessert. Look at this thing here. Come again. Bacon, bacon maple glazed donuts. So it's bacon, huge pieces of bacon with bacon maple glaze on top of a donut. So that's crazy. That is so good. All right, I'm going to go bombard somebody, see if they like this. Look at this lady over here. Lady, lady, come here for a minute. Come here. You got to try this. It's a maple donut. I want you to take a big bite of it. My Remember? cholesterol. Don't worry about your cholesterol. Let's take a big bite of that. Yeah, big, no, big. Big! Come on, big! You tell me how that tastes. You like a yo yo. That's pretty good. See? Who's your cameraman? Um, he, he loves bacon too. Just shout out Legion of Bacon. Legion of Bacon. All right, that wasn't allowed. Take okay. one more bite. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Welcome back to Seattle Refined, I'm Gard Swanson, coming to you from Santa Clara, California for the Pac-12 Championship game, which is tomorrow at 6 o'clock right here at Levi Stadium. Now the game pits the South Division champion against the North Division champion. Now if you want a taste of the real South, all you have to do is mosey on up to the Wandering Goose on Capitol Hill. That's the home of our refined bestie, Heather Earnhardt, and where I just ate the best biscuit I've ever had in my life. And when you find out what's in it, you're gonna want to try it too. So we got a lot of stuff here I'm on the so table. Excited. What We're are we doing? Biscuits. Let's it's our do first it. First time doing biscuits together. And that, that's the uh, the wandering goose. It's, yeah, we've made over. I think we've made half a million biscuits by now. In this yeah. here. In this teeny little, this little space. Yeah. Oh man. And this, yeah. what kind of biscuits are we making? So today we're doing our buttermilk biscuit, but we're going to add some chicken skin. It's like a big heavy potato chip. <laughs> it is know. so good. I think potato chips, chicken skin. <laughs> it's all the same, it's right? All the same. So we're doing Heather <laughs> brushes the biscuits with butter, then pops them in the oven at 425 Four, degrees yeah. and lets them cook until they are golden brown. Those look terrific. Oh, those look good. Oh, look at man. that. There is nothing better than a hot Woo. biscuit. <laughs> all right, let's cut one open because I want to I try one of these babies. Okay. I'm just gonna take a piece right here. Take half and I'll take half. Yeah. Oh my god. That was a dang good biscuit. Hi everybody, welcome to Seattle Refined. I'm Guard Swanson and welcome to Grand County, Colorado. Look at this place. It's absolutely stunning. It's breathtaking. 
Well, as you know, in Seattle, it's high tourist season, so we wanted to jet out of town and find some cool destinations like this jewel right here. It's hard to compete with the Northwest, but this place comes pretty close. Grand County is less than a two hour drive from Denver International Airport. The car ride alone is worth the trip. We've made our way. Can you make me walk like a cowboy? How do cowboys walk? <laughs> well, the best uh, way to figure that out is um, <laughs> come, uh, come here about lunch when the morning rides come in and all our guests <laughs> that come from all over the world that haven't rode much will get off and you'll just see the a little bit of bow legged and they're all walking. Oh, Usually yeah. to go to sign up for a uh, massage at our new spa or you grab a cocktail at the bar. Hey, coming up next on Seattle Refine, we're going for an incredible balloon ride, right, Captain Jack? You bet, guard. But first, yes, guys, she exists. Fishing's in your blood, isn't it? I, I hope so. <laughs> Meet the Northwest College graduate who is taking fly fishing to a whole new level in Colorado. But enough small talk. Follow me this way. I came here for a fishing lesson. So we're going to head right over here and get in the river. And where are we exactly? So we're on Willow Creek. And um, the Willow Creek is it's a beautiful stream. And it actually flows into the Colorado. So it oh, feeds that's... a lot of our Colorado River, which is a huge river in this area. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, it's stunning. And what kind of fish are we going to catch in here? In our creek, we have mostly rainbow trout. But there are, there are also brook and brown trout. They're just a little bit more rare. OK, so before we go, what do I do? On my fly, right now, I have a little fly called a woolly bugger. And what this looks like to a fish is, it looks like another small minnow or a fish swimming around. So you don't put a worm on that? <laughs> no? <laughs> no worms. <laughs> no worms in fly fishing. So we're going to- Welcome back to Seattle Refine. You know, we're just getting ready to wrap up our show here from Grand County, Colorado. And look at these views. They're absolutely amazing. But the best view of all may be from the air. Near the town of Frazier, we met up with Captain Jack for a hot air balloon ride. And we took off at what, 8,500? Eight, we're gonna go, so we're gonna be eight, over 10,000 feet, 10, technically. Five. Yeah, about two miles above sea level. Because the balloon is at the mercy of the wind, Jack says no two rides are ever the same. But yeah, Dude, this I've is been crazy. Since 91. This now, is crazy. Here to the south, we have this little town right here called Frazier. Wow, Grand County, terrific, right? What didn't we do? Hot air balloon ride, boat ride, and the Sea Lazy U Ranch. The only thing I wish, I wish I would have caught a fish. Maybe Maddie and I will do it next time. But what a fitting way to close out the show then on this horse right here. This is old Dusty. Dusty, you ready to go? All right, let's go. We'll see you next time on Seattle Refined. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you gave me the fast horse? <laughs> I look like a natural though, don't I? Do you, is there any way you could take us to Seattle? No. <laughs> wind don't, the wind doesn't go that way. I don't have anything you to do with no. <laughs> like I, got I think it. I think you might have a rock. Welcome back to Seattle Refined. We're on the road in Grand Canyon. <sighs> now, do you ever take your girlfriends out here? Be honest. Right here's the oldest, uh, right here's the oldest lake house on the lake. Okay, you're totally person. ignoring me. Do you ever take your girlfriend out here? No. <laughs> <laughs> So Frankie, you ever put your Speedo on and just jump in? No. Wow, Winter Park is so much fun. Look at all the cool stuff we did. The bike riding. Uh, one more thing to do, the Alpine Glide. Let's go, Alpine Slide. There's one more thing to do. What is it called? That's perfect. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> Welcome back to Seattle Refined, I'm Gard Swanson. Well, one of the real pleasures of my job is meeting celebrities you admire and then having them turn out to be even cooler than you imagined possible. The thing, 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 thing. That's what happened when I got to spend the day with music superstar Harry Connick. Connick was promoting his new talk show, Harry, but unlike a lot of celebrities, he didn't limit the conversation to just his show. As a result, I got a real glimpse of what makes this genius tick. Here we are at Nashville's legendary Ryman Auditorium. Are, are you a perfectionist? I, oh yeah, definitely. As much as I can be with the things that I have control over, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I, I'll, I'll come off stage doing some shows I thought were pretty good, but it's, it's not like I've ever given a show that I said, no, that was the greatest show of all time. I mean, I'm always... 
So they're still reading the music, mm -hmm. but they don't have to turn pages. So this song is for my bass player. It's called The Project. So what you do is you hit this, and the top of the next page comes up. So like, okay, I'm looking at this music yeah. right here. Tell me what that note is. Who's playing that, and what is That's that? my bass player. That, so this is, a, this is a bar. That's one bar, two bars, and there's three bars, wow. right? So if this is the beat, this goes, bonk. The dun 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 dun. So that's the rhythm that my bass player would play. This is a shuffle. That's it. Not quite like that. Anyway, auditions are next Tuesday. With Louisiana Southern charm, Bridget Washington knows how to dish it out in the kitchen. You don't know how to cook, do you? Actually, I don't. I just, I, I don't. All of these are TV dinners, and I just put some parts on top of them. So please don't, don't tell the world. We start by crunching up tortilla chips and layering the bottom of a bowl. That's just the beginning. And then as far as the fresh vegetables, we have uh, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, sweet onions, and a red onion. And then the tomatoes will go on after we pull it out of the oven. The heirloom tomatoes. The heirloom tomatoes. These are my favorite, you know. Are they? Mm -hmm. I grow them at home. Well, then why did I buy these? You could have told me. Aren't I could... they? <laughs> Next time, the tomatoes are on dark. With the veggies ready to go, we still had to mix the frozen sweet corn, Mexican cheese blend, whipped cream cheese, room temperature temperature is best, and then put it all together. You dig, the yeah, get way down in the bottom. Oh, I'm digging. So that's the last scoop, and it now goes in the oven, right? It goes in the oven, 375 for an hour and 15 minutes. All right, let's put it in. OK, let's cook this baby <laughs> up, Bridge. About 75 minutes later, we were coming down the home stretch. How's it looking, Bridget? It looks amazing. What do you think? Oh, I love it. It's all crispy on the top. I know. Wait till we get the heirloom tomatoes on and the cilantro. You not, know how to cut in half. That bad, is amazing. Huh? I'm good. All that stuff they said about you, I, I, <laughs> I have proof. Is that enough or you want all of them? Give me an uh, orange one. Oh, that's for you, girl. Come on. Come on. There you go. All right. Me too. They'd have taste better if they were free from your garden, but I know. With the tomatoes in place, we added chopped up cilantro and a little olive oil, too. And we have corn cheesecake. Oh, man, look at that. <laughs> that is hot. Ooh. So. Ooh. Is it good? Oh. How do you go wrong with cream cheese? You don't. Oh. And the heirloom tomatoes. You know what's great about this one? It's so easy to make. It's super easy to make. Yeah, even a guy like me can make it. What, possibly. <laughs> Why are you busting on me, girl? <laughs> we're supposed to be friends. We're awesome. We're best friends. We're, right. we're absolutely best friends. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Woo! 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 Mm. Mm. You drink some olive oil. Mm. <laughs> dance with me. Is that mm. what you're doing? Mm. Is it, it, it makes you dance? It makes mm. you... It, Come on, right here. Oh, that's good stuff, Bridget. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs>